What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the recap of the Six Nations round three and holy cow, what a weekend of rugby. I normally do the recap on Mondays but I couldn't wait. After watching yesterday's rugby, there's so much just to talk about. Let's start off with Italy versus France. Now, I feel sorry for the Italians. They showed so much passion, started off well. Um, but obviously the French just came away with a tough game. But what I enjoyed about this one is discipline was a bit better. But the Italians showed some fight. Um, when they came back and got that penalty try, I thought, could this be that the Italians are actually going to be on attack and um, could give the French a bit of a run? But unfortunately it wasn't to be with the French go going away and scoring tries, getting their penalties, converting them. Um, and yeah, the French also looked good. It was their game to win. Um, I, as I said, I wondered if the Italians could have maybe done it. I know a lot of you guys said that you think the Italians could have maybe um, beaten the French, but that didn't happen. Um, I predicted a win. I don't think I've got the scoring right. But um, it was it was a good game. It was nice to watch. It was good to see a little bit of spark from the Italians. But credit to the French. They, they were there on the day. They were scored some good tries. Um, and yeah, picked up a, a good victory. And I'll be curious to see. I think they're playing um, England next in a few weeks. So I'll be curious to see how the French go about that game. Then we get to Ireland versus Wales. Now this was the game of the weekend that everyone was talking about, all looking forward to it. I think a lot of us thought, could could the Welsh come back and surprise? Um, and I predicted Ireland to win. Um, and it was just, it was a tough fought game. Ireland were the better team. Wales definitely showed up um, and came back in the game, um, had their moments. I thought at one stage when they were on the attack at the end there that they could have um, scored a try but then intercept um, came about and um, uh, Ireland were, uh, ran away with it and won by like, like it was over 10 points um, but what a, what a game both teams fought both teams were there um, credit again to Ireland they are looking good um, they had their moments uh, um, of, of weakness but um, they were there on the day um, Wales were there. I think if Wales, at one stage towards the second half, uh, it looked like maybe Wales were coming back. They were hungry for a win. Um, and I thought, Cubit, maybe they can actually do this and go all the way and win uh, this game because it definitely would have made this tournament so much more interesting. It's still extremely interesting um, of how it's going to play out. But unfortunately, with Wales last night, they don't pretty much stand a chance now at winning the title. Um, but uh, I'm chuffed for them because they're definitely a lot better than I had predicted. I thought they could have maybe um, got hammered a bit. Um, I thought they were with the injury problem. I know a lot of them came back. Um, I just thought that maybe they would have weakened down. Um, but Gatlin had some good coaching skills. Uh, sad for him that on his 100th game he didn't get a win but I'm also very happy for Ireland because they're just showing pure strength at the moment, they're looking good um, and they it's it's just making the game between Ireland and um, England, it's just the build for that game is just getting big, but bigger and bigger and I can't wait for that game but they're playing Scotland next and that is going to be a tough game. Why? Because let's get to the next result. England versus Scotland at Murrayfield. And the Scots, I think it's after 10 games, were victorious. I got the prediction wrong, but I honestly don't care. I am so happy for the Scots. I couldn't be prouder. And the reason why I'm proud is because my dad was born in Scotland. My sister married a Scot. So Scotland's definitely big in my heart. And I was shouting for them um, last night. We were watching with a couple of mates. And a lot of... It's, it's weird to see a lot of South Africans even cheer for the Scots. Because 
you know, you, for me personally, being a little person and of obviously often being the underdog in situations, I thrive on proving people wrong and showing what I can do. And the Scots damn well did that and they did that so well, playing unbelievable rugby, defending like kings, um, give, taking on opportunities and, and really giving it to a very good English side. Now, don't get me wrong, England are, England are a phenomenal team. They have players, they have one of the best coaches in the world, um, and they are the second team in the world, which rightly deserved. I think a lot of the people think maybe they deserve to be the first. Now, I think there's going to be a lot of upset English supporters, and it's understandable, but let's not take away that they are one of the top teams. They have good discipline, good skills, um, and it just wasn't their day yesterday. A, a passionate, a more passionate, a more determined, uh, on fiery Scotland team were victorious and flip, they deserve it. Um, Scotland started this tournament and it makes, it actually I'm, I'm more sad that they lost to Wales because who knows, maybe they could have had an opportunity to maybe winning this tournament. Um, but what will be what will be Wales won and they won convincingly and credit to them but um, in the game when the coach Townsend took off Laidlaw I thought what the hell is he doing this is one of the most experienced players talented scrum off can maybe be a fly off but um, he took him off and I thought could this maybe be the turning point where England come back and on fire Second half, I said the same thing. Um, a couple of mates of mine were saying, hey, Scotland's going to win. I said, guys, let's not get our hopes up. England can play an 80-minute game. They could come back and and take out Scotland. And England scored. Um, so it, it was it was nerve-wracking. It was nerve-wracking. And with England's team like Owen Farrell, who's one of the best... Um, there is out there um, and he obviously scored a try and co was converting well um, it was it was it was still nerve-wracking I was on the edge of my seat even in the 88th minute I've seen a team lose in the 82nd minute so for me Scotland needed to defend and bloody how I am I'm so proud of that team because they defended. They kept their own. They didn't panic. England were on the attack at the end there. They were there and there about giving a performance of a lifetime. They really were. Um, but Scotland prevailed. Scotland won. Scotland are the Calcutta champions. And rightly deserved. They are were brilliant yesterday. And brings me to what I just said at the start of this England versus Scotland game. I'm excited to see how they do against Ireland. Ireland and Scotland is going to, it's in Ireland, so it's going to be tough for the Scots. But could their confidence continue? Could this momentum stick to them? The determination to want to win? Could they, and I think I said, yeah, I did say it actually. I said, there's not going to be a Grand Slam winner because I feel that, um, Scotland are going to lose to Ireland and then I said England are going to lose to Ireland um, but the, 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 it's, the times have turned a bit so I'm not sure um, what that but if Scotland beat them I'm going to be so thrilled for them and who knows maybe they um, still stand a chance to, to, to win but I think it's out for it's looking still England and Ireland at the top but could could Ireland get a Grand Slam? Sexton was weak yesterday. I know he was having a bit of an injury. Just going back on that. Um, but he, he was weak. His kicking at the start was um, poor. But again, he's an experienced player. And I'm sure he'll bounce back. He had a back injury. Maybe it was a risk playing him. But against Wales, they needed to have their, their top team. So, yeah. Great credit to Ireland again. But... My main credit over the whole weekend is well done Scotland, couldn't be prouder. Let's just talk a bit about the table. We have England, sorry, Ireland at the top on 14 points, England second on 9, Scotland um, third on 8. So 
hey, if Scotland beat the the Irish, England beat the Irish, um, could Scotland sneak it, guys? But um, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough ask for them. But who knows? Anything can happen in the game of rugby, which is why I love talking about it. Why I'm so passionate about the sport. So I can't wait. I'm gutted. We're on another blinking break for Six Nations Rugby. I think the next fixtures, if I'm not mistaken, are on the 10th of March. Yeah, correct. So we're going to be, it's going to be sad um, missing that, but great weekend of rugby. Really excited. Credit to France, credit to Ireland, and credit to Scotland. Hard luck to all the English fans. I know there are a lot of you here. But remember, your team is still second in the world. They're still strong. It's going to be a big year for them. They've got so many good games coming up. So keep your heads up. And to all the Scottish fans, guys, I hope you woke up with a mood to hang over this morning because I'm sure you all were celebrating because I definitely celebrated for their win last night. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to leave your comments down below of who... Um, how you thought the weekend's games were and um, if you're happy with the results that took by. Great rugby, great game. If you haven't already, please make sure you, you subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with all future videos. We have Six Nations still to head, Super Rugby coming out tomorrow. So keep um, another Super Rugby video coming up so make sure you are subscribed help me reach the goal of getting 3,000 subscribers thank you for the 2,500 subscriber today I am so stoked and over the moon and I hope this channel continues to grow so support walkie tour achievement so we can grow and get better well done to all the teams once again and have a great week guys um, and I'll see you soon for another video stay safe and never give up cheers